Hi everyone, and welcome back for more Let's Play Kid Icarus. Um, before we go any further here, I thought I should mention one particular type of room, and the implications therein of. One of the doors you can enter it leads to what they call a skill power-up room, or a... I'm not sure what the official name is. Okay. I don't know. But I just call it the skill power-up room. Because when you enter it, there's a chance that someone may show up and give you a strength increase. Which you see the strength increase up there. It's one little arrow. Uh, that maxes out at five arrows. And there are several of these doors scattered throughout the uh, first... Well, nine of the first twelve stages. The trick with those is that you get skill points as you progress through a level. You get them and you lose them. For example, you shoot an enemy and it gives you so many points. You fire and for every arrow you fire, you lose points. Uh, for every heart you pick up and it that adds to your total, you'll gain points. Things like that. So, uh, like I said, there's only a chance you will get these increases, and that's if these skill points you tally equal over 10,000 by the time you get to this uh, room. Now, with most of them, it's not that hard, but a few of them are fairly tricky and will require you to have almost a perfect run up to getting to the door to be eligible for the uh, upgrade. Hopefully I'll remember to do it, but as we go through I will explain that there are also some enemies that don't give bonuses, some enemies that do, things like that. But for now, this stage is one of the first that actually has a usable... This stage is the first that has a usable uh, uh, power-up room. The first door you saw in stage one was technically a power-up room. However, one small problem. Uh, you, there is no possible way that you could have gotten enough points just none. Ah, and I died. Well, it doesn't matter if you die during a stage. That doesn't hurt your chances with the door. But what it's going to do is refill our uh, life some. But getting hit will make you lose points. Uh, breaking a jar in the treasure chest room. You remember that place where we encountered the uh, guy who laughed at us and took all our stuff away? Yeah, breaking a jar in there costs you points. Things like that. Mainly because you have to pay hearts. But you know how that goes. <clears throat> Hopefully I explained that well enough. If not, uh, you can either look it up online or ask me questions in the comments and I will, you know, I'll try to uh, explain a little better. Yeah, sometimes you are nice. I can't believe I died to a snake. That's kind of embarrassing, actually. That's what I get for trying to talk while I play. I'm easily distracted that way. Let's see, this stage has a door towards the end. And you encounter quite a few enemies, so as long as you kill the enemies and gather up the hearts, Shouldn't have a problem. Ah, that's not good. Can't afford to lose that many uh, points right off the bat, can I? Come on, get down here. Get down here, I said. Ooh, enemy room. You don't get skill points for beating these guys. 
It's kind of strange. You get skill points from the hearts they drop. At least if I exp at least if I understand it right, that's how this works. And the time you take to reach uh, the end of a stage doesn't matter in the least. But it's a fairly long and complicated list of what gets you points and what loses you points. Um, hopefully, when I when I uh, watch this video again for uh, making sure it looks all right. And when I watch it to put it up, I will remember to include the list. <sighs> getting hit a lot. Wow. Hey, I am just getting pummeled. Thankfully, in this stage, it's pretty easy to get the uh, requirements for the skill arrow. You need them badly. That little skill power-up is very important. I mean, it doubles the strength of your arrow, essentially. Also, something I don't think I mentioned, just going into a room uh, like that will get you a few skill points. I think just going into the room... Okay, this is a black market. He has some very interesting items, but for now, you don't want to buy from him. Because, I mean, that feather, that barrel, and that bottle are nice. But you remember, we already got a barrel from our romp through the treasure room earlier. So we don't need that. What that does is if we didn't have a barrel... We would be limited to having one bottle of life juice there. I don't know what else to call it. But with the barrel, we can hold up to eight of them. And what those do is if you run out, run down to zero hit points, it gives you back one... Each bottle gives you back one... That first bar of life... Uh, first bar of life back, so you don't die. It's nice. The feather, if you fall off the bottom of the screen... Each feather gives you one shot at getting back up to a platform. Hopefully, I won't need to use too many of them, but my platforming skills aren't the best, so hey. I may. Who knows? But for now, let's continue on our way. Yes. Kill enemies. Get down here so I can kill you. Whoa. Ice platforms. Good old Nintendo ice platforms. Ah, yes. This Reaper. Probably the more annoying one in the world. Hey, what you get to do here is squat below him so he doesn't see you. When he passes by, you jump up, then shoot him. If I jump. <sighs> Gotta jump. Can't just expect to stand up. Come on, flip back around. Thank you. You will notice the difference the strength increase makes on these guys almost immediately. It takes about ten hits to kill him now. It'll take about four or five with the... Uh, first strength increase. Then I think it cuts it down to two once you get your second one. Oh, I gotta cut out that beep, don't I? That's my normal timer, folks. But, considering I'm not doing these in ten minute increments, I'm doing these in stage increments. I don't care about the beep. Lousy enemy. Come on, hurry up. 
Ah. Lousy aim, lousy timing. I hate this guy. He annoys me. Die from arrow to back, please. Hurry up and die, would you? I don't want to take all day. You're going to make me, though, aren't you? You're going to make me take all day to do this. Lousy Grim Reaper. You know, there's only supposed to be one of you in Canaan at any time. Good dead. Up, up. Grab the life juice.